What's up, Bell Penguins? Today we do a Bell Math Minute looking at a dihybrid cross. Flowers can either be purple or white, and seeds can either be round or wrinkled. If we did a dihybrid cross, what's the probability of being white and wrinkled? So based on the capital W, I know that white is dominant, and the capital R tells me that the round is dominant. So a white flower is going to either be homozygous dominant or heterozygous, and then the wrinkled seeds has to be homozygous recessive. So we're going to do two punnet squares. Our first punnet square will be a monohybrid cross with our W's, and the second punnet square will be a monohybrid cross with our R's. So if we go ahead and do that cross, we'll see that one-fourth are homozygous dominant, one-half are heterozygous, and one-fourth are homozygous recessive. So we're going to shade in the ones that are white. So one, two, three. Three-fourths of them will have white flowers. So we're going to do the same thing, but now we'll do a monohybrid cross with the R's. One-fourth are going to be homozygous dominant, um, one-half are going to be heterozygous, and one-fourth is homozygous recessive, so we'll shade in the one that are wrinkled, and that means that I have one-fourth that are wrinkled. Three-fourths times one-fourth is three-sixteenths, so three-sixteenths are white and wrinkled. Hope this helps. Remember that AP Bio Penguins just success by all.